Hi guys, it's me, Audrey, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be doing a quick get ready with me. So, actually, wala naman talaga akong pupuntahan. And this is just for the sake of doing a vlog because I also miss doing makeup since it's been like three weeks since I last flu. So, ayun, gagawa tayo ng makeup get ready with me. And while answering, also while answering your questions, so, you guys sent a lot of questions actually, pero I'm not gonna answer all of them since it depends kung anong topic and anong question siya. So, we'll see. So, yeah, let's get started. Let's start with putting on some moisturizer. I'll be using this Seva Mehen moisturizer. So, paano po ba mag-apply ng FA International? Need mo na dumaan bilang local or domestic from Maria Freya X. So actually, it doesn't really matter if you're experienced or not. Um, for me, I never tried being a flight attendant for a local airlines, but I tried applying for a local airlines and I got rejected, by the way. So, ayun. Actually, those rejections helped me to get accepted with my airlines right now because I get to practice the questions, I get to be familiarized on how the interview process is going. So, ayon. So, after that, I'll be using this Biore UVV Watery Essence. Watery Gel SPF 50. So, how to be in a strong long-distance relationship? Actually, it's really hard to be in a long-distance relationship. Especially for my job. I I go to different places every day, different time zone, majority of the time on, I'm on air. Pero it helps din talaga when your partner is really committed to you and understands the nature of your job. So for us kasi ni Jayco, hindi kami madal, hindi kami manahihirapan to adjust kasi both of us are in the uh, aviation industry. So alam namin kung gaano kahirap and we make time always. Uh, min yung important, you make time and we make an effort at least to talk to them despite the distance and despite knowing na ang hirap yung maging magkausap all of the all of the time. Wala, saludo lang talaga ako sa boyfriend ko kasi an, ano nang patience niya sa akin and sa kanya siya yung nag-adjust majority of the time like Kapag maglaland ako ng 12 midnight dito or for example 11 pm, siya yung ano, siya yung gigising tapos sabihin niya ako, "Bib, tawagan mo ako." So tatawagan ko siya tapos sasagutin niya talaga kahit anong oras pa yan sa Pilipinas. So ayun. Next one is I'm gonna put Bello tinted sunscreen. I don't really use um foundation kapag everyday makeup lang kasi ang init at ang bigat sa face. So, ayun. For must go to local destinations and love your books. Well, thank you, Mars. And go to local destination is Cebu, Batanes, La Union. I, I love Cebu talaga. And I've been there for like twice already. And I'm planning to go there in the future if time permits and kapag may flights na kami doon. So, ayun. Um, next one is, do you have a plan B for the future in case mag-retire ka na as FA? If meron, ano pong work? Actually, yeah, you always to, you need to always have a plan B. Kasi, in case na hindi mag mangyari yung gusto mo mangyari, at least meron kang backup plan. So, for me, grabe, namumula yung face ko. For me, I'm planning to be a housewife. <laughs> Shut up. Um, I'm planning to have a business. I'm looking for a land in Laguna wherein I can start my farming business. Yun kasi talaga yung goal ko. Gusto ko magkaroon ng farming business para din sa farmers sa atin sa Philippines. Ang goal ko is magkaroon ng sarili kong business. I don't want to be dependent on my husband or sa boyfriend ko or any to anyone kasi I was not raised to be dependent to anyone. I have to stand for myself. I have to um, build my own career, build my own life para 
hindi ko kailangan magdepende kung kahit na si kakasa kahit na sino. Depende na bubulo ako. Okay. Next question. How often do you go home in a year? Um, actually, it depends. Usually, I go home twice a month. Nagagawa ko pa yun before twice a month ako umuwi. Or sometimes, every week nasa Pilipinas ako. Pag may flights ako sa Philippines, ayun. Um, tapos uuwi ako kapag may days off, yung ganon. Pero, usually, pinakamatagal na hindi ko uwi is two months. Tapos, ano pa ba? Um, yun. But, as much as possible, I go home. Kasi, kailangan ko umuwi. May miss ko yung family ko. Ang dami kong ginagawa sa Pilipinas actually. Ang dami kong mini-meet. Ganyan. So, um, What have you discovered about yourself since you moved abroad and traveled the world? Actually, to be honest, I really discovered na magaling pala akong magluto. <laughs> Kasi in the Philippines, I never tried cooking kasi everything was prepared already. Medyo na spoiled ako somehow ng daddy ko. And hindi ako nag nag exert ng effort to learn how to cook. So, ayun na naman kung magaling pala akong magluto. And also, I am really a strong person. Yung talaga yung nalaman ko. I mean, napatunayan ko kasi it's really hard to be alone in a different country, in a foreign country, wherein you don't know anyone. Though, I have my mom here, pero we're not always together. And also, nalaman ko na gusto ko pala talaga tong work na to, despite the difficulty and the stress. Yun. And, wala ko regrets. Happy ako kung nasan ako. And, happy ako kasi nandito ako. Ayun. Next one. Will you take risk to love someone who is your best friend? No, no, no. Actually, may ganito experience. Pero, for me, mas gustuhin ko maging friend na lang siya rather than making him my boyfriend. Tapos, in the end, hindi pala kami mag-work. Ang hassle nun. So, nope, nope, nope. Mas pipiliin ko kung saan kami magsistay na mas matagal kesa sa i-risk ko ano yung meron kami. Well, that's for my case. Paano mo po nababalance ang cabin crew life at love life? Um, nababalance ko ba? Wala. Kailangan mo lang talaga mag-make time for each other. You have to know your priorities. And for me, um, ang gusto ko sa boyfriend ko kasi never niya akong parang pinapili. Wait lang, may kukunin ako. Never niya akong pinapili kung ano mas priority ko. Kasi alam niya na I really wanna be successful. And, ganun din naman ako sa kanya. So, ayun. As long as you have a supportive partner, balancing love life and your career is not really difficult. Hindi magiging mahirap yun. Kasi, alam mo at the end of the day na susupportahan ka niya kasi doon ka masaya. And always choose a partner who's who will love you and your dreams as well and who won't be selfish kasi alam niya, gusto niya mag-grow ka rin as a person individually. So, ayun. I don't know if I make sense, pero ayun. Um, is being FA your first job? Actually, no. This is not my first job. This is my second job. Uh, I work as a recruiter in the Philippines with Ayala Land for like six months. And then, I joined my company, I become a flight attendant after that. So, ayun. Oh my god, kailan niyo po bang balak magpakasal ni Jayco? Actually, guys, we're talking about getting married, pero not now. Come on. Ang tagal-tagal na namin, tapos di pa kami mag-uusap about marriage. That's something that's really impossible. Pero, um, we know our priorities, and we're just 22, guys. It's not our top priority as of the moment and it doesn't mean that I am earning money I can get married na um, for me kasi my stand on getting married is I have to be financially um, emotionally and spiritually ready to be committed for the rest of my life so for me gusto ko munang 
i-enjoy yung sarili ko na I'm earning this amount of money. I get to share it with my family and my brother. And I wanna be successful. Ang dami ko pang dreams and gusto mo na matupad yung lahat bago ko talagang isipin na kailangan ko na magpakasal. And also for Jayco, gusto ko ma-reach ma niya muna yung pangarap niya for himself and for his family before us getting settled. So, ayun. Matagal pa yan, guys. Mga six years from now, five years from now. But, yeah. Ang sure lang ako is gusto namin magpakasal, pero hindi ngayon. How long do you see yourself being a flight attendant? For 10 years. Actually, to be honest, gusto ko talaga magstay na matagal dito sa trabaho ko. Because I really enjoy it and I really love what I'm doing. So, pag nagpakasal ako, maybe doon ako magsa-stop. Because, syempre, mag-iba na yung goals ko. And my priorities. So, ayun. Maybe by 32? 32, 30, 31, who knows? If God permits, why not? Dream destination you haven't been to. Um, dream destination, Brazil. I really wanna see Christ Redeemer. Actually, napaniginipang siya kanina. Tapos sobrang tuwang-tuwa ako kasi napaniginipang siya. So, yun yung dream destination ko. Ilang hours or days po ang pinakamahabang layover niyo? I experienced having layover for like... 56 hours. 56 pa. Oo, yung may mga day off kami sa destination. So, parang 3 local days kami nagsistay doon. Yun yung pinakamahaba. Um, usually kasi 24 hours lang or less. If you have a destination na may day off, masaya yun kasi dami kang time. Dami kang time to roam around. Actually, hindi ko alam ba't ko hinahawakan itong brush na hindi ko naman nga gano'n. Um, next one. Workout routine. Um, share ko na lang siya sa different video. I'm not really ready pa na i-share siya. So, stay tuned, guys. For you, which is better? Which is better? Plane or cruise ship mag-work? Girl, um, I never experienced working in a cruise ship. So, I really cannot say that the other, way. the other is better compared to the other. Pero, yeah, I enjoyed flying. So, I will say I like working in a plane. Which country do you see yourself living in when you retire as a flight attendant? Um, Philippines. If not Philippines, it would be Canada or Australia. Other than that, wala na akong naisip. Um, Siyempre, love ko Philippines. Mas madaling kumilo sa sarili mong bansa. And when you have the people closest to you there, compared to living abroad na wala kang kakilala. What if di po marunong mag-makeup? Kasama po ba yun sa trainings nyo? If you're not, if you don't know how to do makeup, it's okay. Kasi hindi rin ako marunong mag-makeup when I applied. Yup. Wala akong alam sa makeup, makeup, na nag-apply ako. And natuto lang ako nung nag-apply ako. I would just watch YouTube videos. Kaya ako natuto. And sobrang helpful ng YouTube videos, guys. So, if you want to learn how to do makeup, practice on it every day. It will be so helpful for you. And sa training, tinutuluan naman kami ng, way, ng proper way on how to put makeup. So, okay lang yan. Nothing to worry about. Um, next question. Meron, bang, meron po bang Filipino cabin cruise airlines ko? Of course, meron. Pero... Um, usually, mga matatagal na sila dito. Like, pinakabata ko nakasama is mga 2 years. Um, what are your struggles bago ka maging FA? Getting rejected and questioning yourself why, why you got rejected. It somehow made me feel that I'm not worthy to be a flight attendant. And hindi ako maganda. Actually, na-insecure ako doon. Pero wala. Tuloy ang buhay. Kailangan mo lumaban. And it doesn't mean that you got rejected eh, hindi ka na maganda, hindi ka na pwede maging FA. And yeah, there are people who will question you, I got question actually, hindi parkit payat kan magiging FA ka, sinabi niya sa akin, pero wala. Make it as an inspiration 
to strive harder and be better. May mga tao talagang hihilayin ka pababa and you cannot do anything. And wala ka na magagawa sa kanila. Ganun na talaga sila. So, you just have to focus on yourself, on how you will react and how you will accept things. Kasi, you cannot please everybody. The only thing you can control is how you will react to a situation and your actions. So, yun. Um, how much of your salary can be, can you usually save as a cabin crew? Hmm. Actually, I can save an, up until 80% of my monthly salary but unfortunately due to priorities and bills and dami kong binili may investments ako so i'm saving like 10% 20% ayun um how do you maintain your weight despite the puyat mm Guys, I don't know how to maintain my weight because I lost weight ever since I started flying. Underweight ako for my weight, so hindi ko siya dapat maintain. Kailangan ko siyang taasan pa. So ayon. Um. Next one is sa mata naman. Um. Ano po reason bakit? Ang ganda ng penmanship ko. So, ayun. Nakita niyo siguro yung vlog ko about three days in my life as a cabin crew. Kaya yun nasabi yan na maganda yung penmanship ko. So, guys, nung bata ako, hindi maganda yung sulat ko. Um, the reason behind that is my dad. Ang ginagawa niya sa akin nung bata ako is pinapalo niya yung kamay ko every time na pangit yung sulat ko. And then, syempre, pag pinapalo niya yung kamay ko, I was like, Grade 3, grade 4 that time. Siyempre, umiiyak ako kasi ang sakit niya mamalo. Tapos, ayun, naging motivation ko siya to write better. Ayun. Pero ayun, ang ganda na ng sulat ko ngayon. Kung dati, sobrang grabe yung sulat ko. Ang pangit talaga. And, somehow, I'm thanking my dad for doing that. Kasi, ang daming crew na nagsasabi sa akin, uy, ang ganda ng sulat mo. Grabe, parang, si parang, ano siya, type, parang tinype daw. Tapos, parang computer, eh. So, low-key, kinikilig ako every time they are telling that. So, flat or room tour? Um, I'm gonna be doing a room tour once tapos na ako mag-arrange na. I'm planning to put something there. Babagawin ko pa yan. So, hindi ko pa gusto mag-room tour kasi hindi ko pa, hindi pa siya final touch. Hindi pa siya finish. So, for the lips, I'm gonna be using Sunny's. This is what I always use. So this is my final look. I'm gonna set this one with my setting spray. Um, guys, I realized ko ang hirap palang mag makeup habang nagsasalita. Anyways, medyo na ano ko dun, na challenge. But yeah, I'm so happy. I finished. Ayan. So, ayan. This is my makeup look. And I hope you find this helpful and may sense yung sagot ko. Kasi di ko na alam po ano pinagsasabi ko. Kasi ang hirap mag-focus ng dalawang bagay at the same time. Like doing your makeup and answering your questions. So, ang hirap mag-isip ng kasagutin mo. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this quick get ready with me. Though it's, this is not a quick get ready with me. This get ready with me while answering your questions. And yep, I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!